In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use labels within Gmail. Labels are slightly different to what you might be used to inside of Outlook, for example, where you would take uh, an email and put it into a folder. Once it's in that folder, it can't exist in more than one place. So Gmail operates slightly differently. You can put an email under a tag, but then you can put it under as many other tags as you need to as well. So this is good because you could use it for filing emails from particular customers into their own uh, label, but you could also uh, create a, a very basic workflow off it to say, well, this email is currently assigned to this person and I'm waiting for a response from them. So I'm going to show you a couple of techniques to be able to create labels and actually make uh, managing that email and that flow a little bit easier. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for uh, any emails uh, that have TSPA in them, all right, or, or are um, related to that TSPA group. And to do that, I can do it a couple of ways, but your search bar up here is the friend. So first of all, I'm just going to say, I want anything that says TSPA in it. All right, here we go. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on in here. Particularly, we've got some moderators reports and things. So that's fine. I'm going to go with that for the moment. Now I can click the little drop down box here, and that will show me that I've searched for uh, emails from anyone to anyone I'm just going to move that into the subject. Not that it makes much difference, but I know that these particularly have them that word in the subject. And I'm not going to uh, filter anymore, but you can play with these to see what the power is of that search. Then I'm going to say create a filter. And I can do a number of things with it from here. You can have a look down here. So marking it as important, starring it, marking it as unread. But in this case, what I want to do is apply a label so I, I don't have a label for that currently, so I'm going to click that and then type TSPA and click Create. Now, because I have these uh, items here already, I also want them to be applied to that conversation. So I'm going to click Create Filter. Now, what's going to happen is whenever a new email comes in and it has TSPA in the subject line, it will automatically get tagged with that TSPA tag. So as you can see, our filter has added TSPA to this particular item. Now, if I scroll down the left-hand bar here, I can see I have a, a tag now called TSPA. And there we go, there's all of my emails. Now, for example, if I want this tag to always show up the top of the list, I can change the options on it here. First of all, I might want to change the color of it. So I want those to appear in red. There we go, it's gonna make them stick out a bit more when they're in the inbox. And I also might want to only show it if it's unread. So I'm going to tick that. Now, as you can see, Google only gives you the first few, what's that, seven labels in the sidebar, depending on your screen real estate that's available. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to hide or change to show if unread a few other labels. And by doing that, oh, as you can see, there's no emails in there. Let's go back here again. Show if unread, show if unread, show if unread, and we'll do that to these ones as well. Okay, now by doing that, that means that all of these labels up the top here are only going to be the ones that actually have emails in them that are unread. Everything else is going to be down the bottom here, or depending on the way I've set them up. So this one's just under hide, which is why it's down here, but it does have some unread emails. That way, as your emails come in, your labels over here might change and you can easily filter them down. 